Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go through the solution to number eight off of your 8-1 to 8-4 test review. This question asks us to identify the graph of the quadratic inequality below, and our inequality here is written in standard form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is label A, B, and C. A is positive two, B is negative four, since we have a minus four X, and C is negative one. So when we have an equation written in the standard form, um, before I actually do anything, I'm just going to see if I might be able to eliminate any choices. So with A being a positive 2, I know that the graph needs to open up. Positive A opens up, so we can eliminate this orange graph right away. Now let's check out where the axis of symmetry should be. The equation for the axis of symmetry for a function written in standard form is x equals the opposite of B over 2A. So plugging in our values here, we have the opposite of negative 4 divided by 2 times 2. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4 divided by 4, which is 1. So that means our axis of symmetry must be x equal 1. If we look at our choices here, um, the green graph has its axis of symmetry at 1. So does the purple graph. So it could be those. Um, the blue graph um, seems to have its axis of symmetry at negative 1. So I'm going to eliminate that. Now we have the axis of symmetry, which is also the x-coordinate of our vertex. So to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we just need to plug in 1 for x. So I'm going to have y equals 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 1. And you can either type this whole expression right here into your calculator, or you can use the order of operations. And in our order of operations, we do need to start with the exponent. So 1 squared, I'm going to simplify to 1 times 1, which is 1. And now that we took care of the exponent, we can do the multiplication next. 2 times 1 is 2, 4 times 1 is 4, and then I have the minus 1, and then adding and subtracting comes last. So now if we just go left to right, 2 minus 4 minus 1 is negative 3. So that puts our vertex at 1, negative 3. So if we look at our two remaining graphs, 1, negative 3 seems to match this purple graph. I'm just going to double check and make sure the A makes sense. So when A is 2, if we think of our 1, 3, 5 pattern with A being 2, we should be multiplying those values by 2. So that would make 2, 6, 10. And if I double check my purple graph, beginning at the vertex, up 2 over 1 lands us right there. Then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1 is there. I don't have enough space to go up 10, but I can see that it does match this purple graph. Another thing you could also check is the y-intercept. The y-intercept of a function in standard form is just the c value. So here we're at 0, negative 1. Now actually, um, all of the graphs here have the y-intercept at negative 1. But um, the purple graph has everything else correct, so I know my answer is this one right here.